Damnation is a third-person shooter slash 3D platformer that was originally a total conversion of Unreal Tournament 2004 that was later made into its own game, skating on the noteworthy and unique at the time principle that platformers and 3D shooters should be combined. The concept for the game and its proof of concept definitely predate Uncharted, but it definitely came out after the original Uncharted, though it could have been in development before then. The game, however, does a much better job marrying these two components, the platforming and the third-person shooting, and you still spend a balanced amount of time, about 50-50, doing each of them, though the platforming may come out on top a bit. The platforming itself is undoubtedly inspired heavily by Prince of Persia and is heavily ledge-focused, but still allows for much crazier jumps than anything you'd see in Prince of Persia or Uncharted. And what definitely makes the 3D ledge-focused platforming in Damnation stand out the most is how vertical it is. The vertical movement is pretty advanced for the time period, and the horizontal movement is quite slow and cumbersome. This definitely seems to be intentional, and the back of the box even advertises the game's preposterously vertical environments. But while the verticality is largely superficial and probably added mostly for style and spectacle, there is at least one mechanic in place that differentiates Damnation on a gameplay level from other ledge platformers quite a bit. That being sprint jumping. You see, while other ledge-focused platforming in other video games can feel a bit mechanical and stiff, like a QTE at its worst, or at its best like some really good environmental platforming, I believe Damnation soundly sets itself apart with the sprint jumps, which allow you to make jumps that by all reasons shouldn't exist in any 3D platformer. They're just so absurd. May as well be flying. The sprint jumping mechanic practically hovers your character directly to where you want them to go, and all it requires is that you sprint, push the analog stick in a direction, and press jump. It's definitely overbalanced and overpowered in the favor of the player, with you being able to perform some jumps that would seem like glitches had you not an understanding of the game mechanics so fundamentally. To help the absurd usefulness of this poorly balanced mechanic, you go the same speed and distance regardless of whether you're jumping from a sprint you've been at for a couple seconds or a sprint you've just started from a standstill. Because of the massively vertical and open nature of the environments, the sprint jumping and its ridiculousness end up being a boon to the game instead of a detriment. Because platforming is the primary means of traversal and the primary means of exploring the traversal mechanics is through pathfinding. The levels are all mazes designed to get the player hopelessly lost until they puzzle their way forward. And I love shit like this. The open nature of the environments ensures there's multiple solutions to almost every pathfinding puzzle, and the sprint jump makes them all the more fun to navigate. Increases your options. That being said, the buddy AI has a bad habit of being a bit of a spoil sport. All of the levels and environments are vertically labyrinthine and confusing and all of them are enjoyable environmental puzzles in their own right, where you have to pathfind your way out. But the buddy AI sometimes will just run ahead, showing you the most optimal route forward. And that sucks. It removes the challenge of finding a route through the level for yourself. I can only assume this is a bit of ignorance and oversight on the part of the design team, because while there are some areas where the AI body will rush forward and show you exactly where to go, there are many areas where he stands still asking where you should go and waiting for you to solve the puzzle. What's so bad about having sections dedicated to pathfinding and sections not dedicated to pathfinding, you might wonder? Mostly, it's the fact that there's no distinction between the two besides the AI behavior. As was already said, every environment is confusing and labyrinthine, it's just sometimes the AI will decide to show you where to go and sometimes it won't. It makes the developer feel incredibly detached from the player experience and gives the impression that maybe they don't understand how to show the player where to go if sometimes it's meant to be obvious where to go, because it's never obvious where to go and that's the most enjoyable thing about the game. It would certainly be a more unique and special experience if the AI just stayed back all the time, is what I'm trying to say. But at the end, the stylistic verticality to the whole thing, the really absurd sprint jumping functions, and the general crazy jumps enabled by the sprint jumping functions make 3D platforming in Damnation kind of an event. It's messily bolstered by the sprint jump's absurdity, and messily ruined by the AI sometimes just giving you the solutions to the pathfinding puzzles that you actually use the jumping for. But there is a whole nother dimension to the game that we haven't even begun to speak about yet. The actual third-person shooting. The third-person shooting gameplay is simultaneously ordinary and subpar. All of the weapons function, perform the utilities you'd expect, and the controls are fine. It's not technically cover-based in the sense of Gears of War or Uncharted, 
but you do spend a lot of the game hiding from enemy bullets. And you better be very good at hiding because the AI has preposterously good aim. In fact, the enemy AI in general is incredibly surreal and dreadful to experience. Sometimes they don't even react to being shot, it's up in the air whether they'll try to flank you or come after you at all. No one really knows what they're thinking or doing at any given time. All anyone knows for sure is that no matter how far away you are, their bullets are going to hit with damn near 99% accuracy, even if you're platforming a few hundred feet above them. This makes Damnation's coolest idea, the marrying of the third person shooting with the 3D platforming pathfinding, a bit sullied. Being able to fire from any ledge you're holding onto is a massive strategic benefit in this game to getting to drop on your enemies, and while it was attempted in Uncharted 2 and 3, it's done much better here than it was in Uncharted 2 and 3. Firing from ledges in those games feels alternately like a forced segment and a sort of extra goof, but in Damnation it's almost universally useful in any situation where there are ledges near enemies. Unfortunately, because of the unpredictable AI, getting the drop on these enemies is incredibly difficult to start with. Getting in the position to actually use the ledge shooting is a trial. The AI and its behavior is so unpredictable that it's impossible to strategize more than just in the moment, based on whatever crazy thing the AI is doing at present. This shoots the platforming and third-person shooting marriage in the foot, because while the idea is that you can platform around the enemies and gain vertical height to surprise them, their behavior is just too ridiculous. This applies to pretty much every time the game tries to marry the two game styles, not just with the ledge shooting. But let's say that in spite of the enemy AI being baffling, you're determined to approach the situations strategically, slowly, and carefully. The buddy AI is unfortunately guaranteed to ruin whatever you were doing. They will just run in guns blazing, drawing aggro regardless of whatever you might have planned or been looking at at the time. You're forbidden from surveying the situation and being careful when the Rambo dickfuck AI is around. And unfortunately, just like the pathfinding segments, the game seems to rejoice in making your buddy AI alternately stupid and not stupid. Sometimes the AI will run in drawing aggro and making your life worse, making it even harder to strategize than it already was, and sometimes they'll stay back and quietly whisper that you should take out the enemies carefully. I cannot tell what decides when they do which. In short, I suppose what I'm trying to say is that in spite of some creative blending of genres and mechanics, Damnation's combat is pretty much a farce. And while the pathfinding and 3D platforming is a little better off, it still suffers from an overeager AI that sometimes ruins the pathfinding for you and the best mechanics being hidden behind the glitchy sprint jump function that most people are unlikely to even use to its full capacity, mostly due to the fact that using it the way I used it probably is not even intentional. Damnation feels like a very high-concept game, with a lot of great ideas that suffered just because the developers sometimes sabotaged what made the game design special, or didn't even know how to make the game design special in the first place. A lot of conflicting, contradicting ideas and poorly balanced AI. I had a good time experiencing it, but it is more a messy experiment than an actual, fully finished game.